All right, today we're going to look at smoothing out your stick inputs with the low pass filters in the receivers tab. But first, let's see how she looks with the default low pass filter set up in the receivers tab. There we go. So here I have actual rates set. And I'll throw that in my upper screen there with sense screen sensitivity. Let's do a little fly through here. Kids have been working on this thing all summer. It's awesome. Oh, not Nurk. Got their new swing location over here. And then Fort 2.0. Right here, that's a kid down the street has that one. Oh. And when I get lucky, I get some hammock time. Kids love the playground. Let's see how we do going around the house. Don't fail safe, don't fail safe. Oh, DJI, baby. I love you. Look at that, no static. Oh, DJI, I love you. It's always static with analog. So this is the iFlight Bumblebee. It's pretty good. The motors run a little warm, but in general, it's a pretty good cynic. In a whoop, in a, in a quad, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, uh, I think actual rates is the way to go with this thing. And of course, DJI, so you can see what the heck you're trying to fly through. Obviously, uh, you know, smooth fingers on the sticks makes for smooth flight. Keeping it as smooth as I can. Actual rates with the, the setting of 10 for sensitivity, I always think, is the way to go for this. Especially with the X go. Got a little path there to get back from the park. All right, 3.6 volts per cell. So, yeah, a little tour of the woods there. It's not too bad. So let's bring this in and then we'll set up the low pass filters and see how that looks. So I'll also throw the tune down for this. Um, a lot of people talk about this, this quad and how the motors get pretty water, warm. And I, if you're really pushing them to tune them, yeah, they do. But here they're, they're not hot at all. So I'll throw the tune if you're thinking it's the tune probably about 72 degrees out here right now so anyways a little bonus there all right so the setting we're going to adjust is coming to the receivers tab here and we're going to hit this drop down from auto select that to manual and then we're going to go ahead and try putting in one Hertz so that is going to be a lot of smoothness 
and also a ton of delay. There's going to be like 200 milliseconds of delay on this. So let's uh, let's just see what it looks like, and yeah, we'll go from there. We're going to leave this as by quad as well. So we'll go ahead and save that and give her a rip. All right, it's the next day here, but let's see how it goes. And a little bit of a breeze. As you can see, it's blowing the blowing it around. I'm hopeful here in the in the woods it'll be a little better. Whoa! So this is with the filter and the receivers tab turned way down to one hertz. It's a little bit better on uh, smoothing out the inputs, I think. But everything's like delayed, so that's the trick too. So as I make little movements to correct, those don't show up as much. But like, you can see them bobbing up and down a lot because everything is kind of, like I said, delayed in time. Ooh, plus the breeze doesn't help. Whoa. Like there, that's bad. Oh man, the delay is huge. So yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily recommend that. You know, you're smoothing it out, but if you get into trouble, the delay is so bad. So that's the issue with adding a whole bunch of delay, like with raising the low pass filter in the receivers tab, or even like an emu flight with the with those rates. You're gonna get such a delay that if you're trying to correct for some stuff, like a little bit of a mistake, I think it's kind of rough because you have that big delay on your sticks. So let's take a look now at just softening out our rates using Expo, kind of the conventional way with the actual rates that we have in the receivers tab for Betaflight. All right, so let's check this out. This is gonna be at five with a bi-quad. Well, it's a little breezier here today. Feels a little bit more smoothed out. Like I can make more stick input with less. Um, you know, it's kind of just a smoother roll into the input. Oop. A little sketch there. And the only thing that's a little bit of a down draw is the delay on it. That's nice. Yeah, so as I cross the stick threshold here, we're gonna go for it. Oh. Let's see if I can get out of it. Oh, there we go. We're gonna try that again. So yeah, it definitely helps with just your stick inputs to smooth them off a little bit. I think you could do something similar with the actual rates, just by using a little bit more Expo and then not have the delay. The problem with the delay is when you get into a scenario where you bump something and you try to make a, a quick input to correct, you know, you'll have a tendency to kind of overcorrect 
which can be obviously problematic. Like there. Like I don't feel as connected with it because obviously I'm not. So I don't know. Um, teach their own. It does, definitely does smooth stuff out a little bit right here around the center stick as I'm making micro adjustments like back there getting through that gap and it helped out smoothing that out stuff like that where I just made that hard bend there like oh, you can really see the wind is pushing me now there it got a little bit more difficult because again I had to overcorrect a little or correct a little bit for an outside influence so obviously one way to minimize this, I don't think that's a gap. Uh, I'm using a bi-quad here, so I could change that to a PT1. And that would reduce the delay. I think right now it's saying I have like 40 milliseconds of delay. That would change it down to like 30 some odd. Ah, now I'm down. Alright, so connecting with our Betaflight app as always. So the alternative to this, just come back into the receivers tab and just go the conventional route. So here I'm going to set this to automatic. That's going to then move it up based on, it's going to set the low pass based on, um, I think PT1, no, Biquad is what the default is. It's going to set the low pass based on the refresh rate that Betaflight calculates and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And we're going to go into our PITS tab. And here, we're going to go to Rates. And then we're just going to come into here, and you can see our curve here. I'm just going to crank that up. So what's a 1.0 look like? That's pretty flat. Might be a little too flat. 1.9. Just do 0.9. So these are the actual rates. So what's nice is as I adjust these, I'm not adjusting my full, full stick deflection points at all. I had my yaw a little less. Let's give that a look-see, see how it goes. All right, this is actual rate uh, with Expo 0.9. So now we're no delay again. I don't know if you can see it, but it just obviously takes a lot more stick movement before I actually get movement on the quad. So I can go cross over center stick threshold a lot more to make corrections and it doesn't move the quad, so the feel is as to be expected. Um, it just takes a lot more of my movement to get the quad to move. Wow, there's that wind. Look at that pushing me. So the wind comes from the, the in front of us and goes behind, towards behind us. I can feel a little breeze there. So the benefit of this method is just of course there's no big delay in stick inputs so um i i like it better i think yeah you get smoothness but there's no delay, we have to make quick adjustments to throttle or any of that stuff. It's right there for you. Let's see if I can. Oh, 
Well, there you go. That's kind of different. <laughs> there you go. You can see I speared the quad. Oh, look at that. I hope I didn't burn out that ESC. I, gotta, I don't know if I could do that again. I couldn't do that if I tried. Well, they still spin up. It's 3.7 volts for cell, so. But yeah, definitely a lot more stick input to get to that, which then of course just makes me smoother by default. Ooh, 3.3 volts per cell. All right, gotta bring that down. So it's one of those things you just have to test out for yourself, but I guess my recommendation after looking at it myself is, you know, just stick to the, the basic principles. You know, you wanna smooth out your stick inputs, then just lower your rates. You know, use Expo with the actual rates. You know, I still have my full stick rate deflection there. So if I wanted to, you know, pop up and do a quick flip or roll. I'm still doing thousand degrees per second there. It's just in center stick, it's a lot less sensitive to my movement. So I can make a lot more movements. So instead of using, you know, low pass filters, which is essentially what the dynamic rates are in EV flight or beta flight using the uh, low pass filters in there within the receivers tab, just adjust your, adjust your rates. Um, personally, I'm a fan of the actual rates just because of how they they work those are the quick rates um, i think are both similar the quick rates actually probably can produce a little bit more flatter response and it's going to have like a sharper roll up you can see how that works in the uh, receivers tab there or you can see how that works in the rates tab so take a look for yourself it's you know obviously something you need to feel if you are interested in a log dissection where we'll kind of take a look at the logs and see what we see that's different between the couple options there and how that actually produces a, a difference in how the set points reacting and things of that nature, we're going to have that as our Patreon only video for this week. But as for now, thanks everybody and I hope this helped. And like smash that like button, please. Cause then I, if, if you guys get me a billion likes, then I can make videos that are Fortnite. So do you want Fortnite videos or this video? What's better?